Mascala, Abondo, Mighty Igor, Ox Baker, Tech McKenzie, Dick the Bulldog Brower, Argentino Apollo, Gino Guido and Dino Bravo, The Love Brothers, Rip Hawk, and Luis Martinez. Well, hi again, everybody. Welcome to International Championship Wrestling, presented by the International Wrestling Association. This is Jack Reynolds at ringside, along with my big partner here from the Lone Star State, Tex McKenzie. Hey, golly, glad to be here, Jack. Boy, Tex, we're going to be seeing all of the great superstars of the world of professional wrestling. We'll see the International Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Mil Mascara. We'll see the Russian strongman, Ivan Kolov. We will also see Ernie Ladd, the big giant Ernie Ladd, will be with us. Thunder Bolt Patterson will be making an appearance on this edition of International Championship Wrestling. Eric Red will be with us. And in our main event, listen to this text, we have the World Tag Team title holders, the international champion, the Mongols, against the Polish strongman, the mighty girl, and ex-NFL football star, Big Jim Wilson. How about that for equipment? I've been on a lot of wrestling television shows, but this has got to be the most exciting show I've ever been on. All right, we'll get to all the excitement of international championship wrestling right after this. under the IWA, your referee for tonight, Charlie Smith, your timekeeper, Tommy Young. Our first bout will be a one fall with a 15 to time limit. Introducing first of all from Nashville, Tennessee, weighing at 375 pounds, the great Goliath. Pressure being applied and a tremendous body press. The referee Charlie Smith counting one, two, three, and that's all she wrote. It's another one for Kilo. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back with more international championship wrestling right after this time off. International Championship Wrestling, presenting all of the great new faces of the world of professional wrestling. With me right now is a gentleman who made the jump from professional football, formerly with the Atlanta Falcons, the Los Angeles Rams, and the San Francisco 49ers, and he gave up the world of professional football to turn to pro wrestling. And we're proud to have him on this edition of International Championship Wrestling, Big Jim Wilson. Jim, congratulations. Thank you very much. The competition is key here on International Championship Wrestling, and you're going to have to be at your very best. But Jack, that's the name of the game. Uh, professional wrestling is competition, and of course the IWL has uh, just come onto the scene uh, somewhat similar to the uh, emergence of the new leagues in professional football and basketball, and it's given a lot of people a lot of opportunities uh, where before these opportunities were not present. And being a football player uh, and going into wrestling at the same time is uh, dividing my time, but now with the emergence of the IWL, uh, I'm promoting my full time with the league and uh, looking forward to competition uh, whenever and wherever uh, uh, we go. And it's just a great pleasure to be here today. Jim, I know you're a great football player, and I hope that in the days and weeks to come, you'll be an equally great professional wrestler as well. Thank you very much, Jack. Okay, that's Big Jim Wilson, who uh, formerly was with a number of the NFL football teams, and he's one of the new faces that you're seeing on International Championship Wrestling. This is Jack Reynolds. Let's go back up to the ring and more exciting action. Our next match, ladies and gentlemen, will be a one fall with a 15-minute time limit. Introducing, first of all, from American Samoa, weighing in at 237 pounds, Tego. His opponent, hailing from Copenhagen, Denmark, weighing in tonight at 320 pounds, Eric Colette. with more exciting action on this edition of International Championship Wrestling. It'll be Tego, formerly the heavyweight wrestling champion of Samoa. And look who's in the ring, Tex. No stranger to these eyes, and I'm sure not to yours as well. Mine either. Eric Durrett is an international wrestler. Eric Durrett accompanied by his new manager, a man who has really taken over the wrestling scene as far as the premier manager goes, George Cannon, the referee for the stop, Charlie Smith. There's the bell, and this match is officially underway. Tago, weighing in at 230 pounds. His opponent, Eric the Animal, or Eric the Red. There goes the mighty, the mighty Eric right now. For those of you that may be watching Eric the Red for the very first time, here's a man who relies on his strength, his brutal tactics. He takes every advantage he possibly can. The enormous man. You know what surprises me most of all about Eric is his speed in that ring. For a big man weighing well over 300 pounds, he really moves around. Tego, the Samoan champion right now, pounding away on Eric. This is one of the professional wrestlers in the world today who wrestles with his bare feet. Into the turnbuckle, Tego. Eric going to the front face lock and a hard right hand to the side of the jaw. There's a deal by Eric. And a choke. Referee Charlie Smith checking chin lock. Eric Durant has a fantastic reputation in Europe, you know. He's just, just unbeatable in Europe. And uh, he's made inroads in the United States and Canada. You can see wrestling fans our international championship wrestling cameras picking up the action, and you can see Eric the Red grabbing at the trunk of Tego. Hard right hand smash. Tego down. Referee Smith warning Eric about some of these tactics. He's a roughhouse brawler, Tex. Unbelievably rough. He has a massive forearm. Hard right hand smash by Tego, and another right hand by Eric. Both men coming away right now. To the eyes goes Tego. The fans love it. Giving it back. Into the turnbuckle goes the head of Eric. Eric the Red. The big man from Denmark. 
and great wrestlers out of American Samoa these days. Watch the thumb wrestling fans. Eric likes to use that thumb. There he goes. You notice on his right hand, and our cameras will pick it up, Eric has a piece of tape, at least. It looks like tape. I kind of think it's more than tape. It's on his thumb. He uses it to his advantage, you know. Eric choking away on his opponent, Tego, right now, pulling at the hair, choking away. Referee Charlie Smith is counting. I'll tell you, if Eric doesn't stop, you might see a disqualification in this bout. Tego trying, trying to come back with something, with some sort of an offensive move, but nothing doing. Here's a tremendous body slam. Beautiful body slam in there by Eric the Red. Let's pick up that body slam again, wrestling fans. Watch the tremendous strength of this man, Eric. Good tremendous good. body slam. Huh, Jack? Fantastic. Knee drops in there right now by Eric. A huge, brutal man. Eric the Red is out for that IWA championship. He wants to take on all comers. Hair pulled into the turnbuckle. And a knee to the midsection by Eric Dorett. The competition in the wrestling world these days is unbelievable. Back body drop. Tremendous back body drop in there by Eric. Let's pick up the action once again. That tremendous body drop. A whip into the ring rope. Now watch the strength of this man, Eric, on that back body drop. Call it, Tech. Now back right here. There's the three count. That's it, very good. The backbreaker doing it. Let's go up to the ring right now on the official decision with our ring announcer, Rick Martin. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the fall in the match with the one-armed backbreaker, Eric Barrett. The winner of the match and the fall, Eric Barrett. We'll be back, ladies and gentlemen, with more international championship wrestling right after this. Our next match will be a one fall, 15 minute time limit. Introducing, first of all, from Havana, Cuba, weighing in tonight at 231 pounds, Jose Rivera. His opponent, weighing in tonight at 237 pounds, from Mexico City, the International Wrestling Association heavyweight champion. A big round of applause for Mil Mascara. Ladies and gentlemen, the international heavyweight wrestling champion, Mil Mascarat. Everybody in the country is talking about Mil Mascarat. You better a tremendous know. performer. Man of a thousand and one holes. And his opponent, a newcomer from Cuba, Jose Rivera. For the box, from the International Wrestling Association, Charlie Smith. Look at the tremendous body on this man. The international wrestling heavyweight champion, Mil Muscalet. You know, Tex, no matter where I go, everybody is talking about this man. They are so impressed with his performance. That's right. I was, just, I was in New York the other day, and that's all you heard. When did he come into New York? What was that tremendous move in there by Muscalet? Sort of hit the, uh, the elbow. That's a, that's a hip lock. A hip lock. A couple of tremendous moves. You'll see, uh, wrestling fans, for those of you that enjoy the scientific, the scientific end of professional wrestling, you'll see all the great holes. You'll see flying body blocks and flying head butts and suplex. There's a suplex right there and a try for a flat one. A two count, Rivera. Class. He does he does moves that I've never seen him before. Beautiful wrestler. That looked like another two flex. Right. That looks like somewhat of an abdominal stretch. It's a, it's a, it's a his version of a, some sort of a crucifix. Magnificent athlete. Let's pick up that action again and watch the suplex 
being applied here by Mil Mascara, the international wrestling heavyweight champion. Look at the tremendous strength on this man. Back to live action right now. Looks like a version of the bow and arrow in there right now, Tech. Look at the pressure being applied right now by Mascara. Look at the magnificent physique. At the surfboard. You see the Mexican surfboard. The surfboard being applied right now by the international wrestling heavyweight champion, Mil Mascara. Okay, and Rivera is a rookie in the wrestling business. He's I've seen him have some fantastic mathematics throughout the southwestern United States. And he's up against the master tonight. The young man seems to be bewildered at this point. But just about everybody who wrestles Mil Mascarat is bewildered. In the ring rope, there's a shoulder. Shoulder smash in there by Rivera, trying to get something going. Another hit off. There it is. That's it. After that tremendous body block in there by Mascaras. Mascaras out of the way right now. Rivera trying to fight back. Nothing doing. What? What timing? Beautiful. And the turnbuckle. Watch it now. Here he comes, the flying man. Look at that. Flying body block. 16 feet across the ring. I've never seen anything like it. Tremendous action. Let's go up to the ring right now. And the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the fall of the match with the atomic footboard, Neil Muscatus. Let's pick up the action again. The atomic surfboard. Now this was a flying, look, looks like a flying body box. There's a beautiful drop, drop kick in there. Now Muscatus, uh, for the moment, was somewhat taken off guard. Now here comes the flying surfboard in there. I've never seen anything like that. Watch the timing. 16 feet across the ring. Unbelievable. Precision timing by Mascaras. His opponent totally demolished. A free count by referee Charlie Smith. And that's the International Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back with more right after this timeout. giants of the world of professional wrestling, two of the new faces of interna international championship wrestling. I call them the Soul Patrol. We've got here T-Bolt Patterson and the big guy Ernie Ladd. Yeah, well, look, man, they have called me a whole lot of things, you know, but the main thing about this whole thing is IWA. It's a new thing. Now, there's a whole lot of people that haven't had the opportunity to see me because I haven't had the chance to get around there, you know. I couldn't get there. But I hear a lot of people here in this area talking about, hey, I'm this, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to get this, and what have you. Now, everybody's out there for one thing, to make that dollar. Can you do it? Now, the people out there are in for a cheap, because all of those people out there, I've seen them. I'm talking about, like, Rip Hawk, Bulldog Brown. The Mongols and that. These are international people getting together. See what I'm talking about? And hey, all of these people think that they're going to come right out here and just walk all over top of people. Well, it ain't quite that simple. Because I feel that if I could just talk to y'all like a woman. Well, I'd like to say something to the big guy right now, T Bolt, Mr. Uh, Mr. Ernie Ladd. Well, you know, he's kind of summing up quite well as far as I'm concerned, you know. He got to bring some meat to get some meat. I think both got enough meat and I have enough meat. And when you come, don't come for no Sunday school meeting. Come for a brawl. We come and do a little bit of any and everything they want to do. You know, if they want to have a hold on, we everybody just get out and get a little bit and get a little bit of it all. You know, name it, we'll claim it. Like one rich man told another, so he had enough money to build a fence around the world three foot tall. Another man told me he had the money to buy it if he built it. So any wrestler want to climb a few dirty tricks. If they want to get out, another way, it's quite all right, you know. When you go to church, anybody might shout. You know, an old good sister brother might shout. 
But in the rough little steps in that rain, he just stand a chance to get the gift. No horse has been too tough that he couldn't be rode. No buck's been too tough that he couldn't be saved. So what I'm saying, I've had a few knocks put on my head, but I guarantee I passed out no knocks and I deceived. And for IWA, as Mr. Patterson said, the fans are in for a treat. It's going to be Brother Patterson and Brother Lair. Well, when you get the likes of the Mongols, the Love Brothers, Martinez and Apollo, along with the, uh, the new Samoan stars, the Islanders, and then you get a couple of real professionals like Tebow Patterson and Ernie Ladd, you're seeing the greatest in the world of professional wrestling, and you see it right here on International Championship Wrestling. Gentlemen, I thank you so much for joining us. Let's go up to the ring right now and more exciting action. Next match, a one fall with a 15-minute time limit. Introducing, first of all, from India, weighing in tonight at 225 pounds, Gama Singh. And his opponent, hailing from Russia, weighing in tonight at 258 pounds, Ivan Korlov. Jack Reynolds at ringside along with Tex McKenzie. And more exciting action here on International Championship Wrestling. In the ring right now, being inspected by our referee, Charlie Smith, is the Russian strongman, Ivan Kolov, who at one time was the world champion. That's right, and he's out to get Mascara's belt. His opponent, Gama Singh, hailing from India, won fall. With a 15-minute time limit, there's the bell. The match officially underway. Ivan Kolov. And Gama Singh. He's a rough dude, this uh, Ivan Koloff. You better, check. You better believe it. Beautiful great takedown. Down. Beautiful great fine takedown. That was a great fine takedown. That's right. A lot of dread wrestlers from India, you know. I, I was going to say, so sorry to interrupt you. I have done television shows all over the world, but this is the first time in my life I've seen it's a great array of talent on one hour of wrestling. Unbelievable. Coming up, Ernie Ladd. And in our main event wrestling fans, listen to this. The international wrestling tag team champion, the Mongo, Tito and Bolo Mongo, will take on the combination of the Polish strongman, the mighty Igor, and ex-NFL football star, Jim Wilson. Boy, you talk about excitement. Hang out of your seat, wrestling fans. That was the main event tonight. And can you imagine that? Thunderbolt Patterson. Every match tonight is a main event match. Look at Koloff fighting away on Gama Singh. Whipping him into the ring roll. And a tremendous boot to the midsection. A knee. Knee drop in there by the strong man from Russia. Look at that. Wow. Here comes Koloff after Gama Singh. He's got him by the hair. Look at this. Into the ring post. Another one, he's a, what a brutal man, look at this, body, body right plan. in front of the camera, right in front of our international championship wrestling ringside booth here, look at Koloff, Koloff, Ivan Koloff, who at one time was the world heavyweight champion, and who would like nothing better than to meet Mil Mascaras, the international wrestling heavyweight champion, and make an appearance to win that belt. Good move in there by Koloff. That's beautiful. He blocked that fellow in a hurry. That's... Thing comes to us with a fantastic reputation. Koloff right now grabbing the hair of Gama Singh. Referee Charlie Smith counting away. Singh trying to make his way back into the ring. He's back. Let's pick up the action now with Ivan Koloff. Look at that. Using the ring rope. Let's pick it up again. Call it Tech. This is a neck breaker using the ropes for leverage. It's not impossible to break a man's neck. Look at the fall he took. Back to live action right now, and Ivan Koloff continuing his assault on Gama Singh, the young man from India. Tremendous condition, thing to take a beating. He's taken the biggest, toughest beating in his life. Another by body breaker, back to body breaker. Beautiful back body breaker in there by Koloff. him up on a two count. He had him beat. He's deliberately trying to hurt the boy. Whipping him into the turnbuckle is Ivan Koloff. Vicious 
brutal wrestler. Call a tech. Body slam. Did you Good see body about, slam. about two, three feet off the ring? The young man from India is hurt. There goes call up. Top of the ring rope. Z to the midsection. A flying knee drop to the midsection by Ivan Koloff. And now, a press. Oh. A two count. Now that's you. That's not the way to do it. Jack, that's not the way to do it. This is Koloff style. There's the big red Russian boot. He barely has another ring. Another tremendous body slam. There goes Koloff again. Climbing the ring rope. Another flying knee drop in there by Koloff and a press. That's it. Wow. Let's go up to the ring right now on the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner with the body press, Ivan Koloff. There's your winner, Ivan Koloff. Let's pick up the action once again, Big Tech. Here's a tremendous body slam. And now Koloff going to the top of a neutral corner. Now watch the knee, right across the midsection. A little lower than the midsection there, Big Tech. You better believe it. I didn't realize it the first time. There's the press, the three count, and it's all over. We'll be back with more international championship wrestling right after this timeout. Ladies and gentlemen, our next part of one fall, 15-minute time limit. Introducing, first of all, from San Antonio, Texas, at 251 pounds, Bob Garcia. His opponent, weighing in tonight at 307 pounds, from Houston, Texas, the Big Cat, Ernie Ladd. Well, we got a couple of big guys from Texas in here, Tex McKenzie. And uh, both of these gentlemen who will be seeing action in the next exciting in the next exciting bout here on International Championship Wrestling. Promises, promises. Bernie Ladd, Steve Fung. One of the biggest fellows in professional wrestling today and one of the best athletes, Bernie Ladd. Bernie Ladd, who played in the National Football League, well, originally in the American Football League with the original San Diego Chargers when they were in the American Football League. And then later, with the world champion Kansas City Chiefs and the Houston Oilers, Ernie Ladd. There's the bell, the match officially underway. Promises, promises. Bobby Garcia from our hometown, San Antonio, Texas. Rugged wrestler. Bobby's yeah. been around a long time. You better believe it. He's an old ring veteran, and he's going to have his hands full tonight. Ernie Ladd, an exciting performer. A favorite. A real favorite. Ladd wanted to give him a little left-hand shot right there. They got a right-hand shot. But uh, Ernie thought better of it back away. You know, Ladd is an enormously big man. Bobby Garcia stands six foot two or three. Ladd just towers over. Good elbow smash in there by Ernie Ladd. Did you see Bobby fall off the what a what an elbow smash that was? Six feet, nine and one half inches tall, weighing 307 pounds. They call him the big cat, Ernie Ladd. There's a full Nelson in there by Ernie Ladd. Oh, there's a hole you don't see too often. Well, see, I told you, Bobby's an old ring veteran. Right hand miss. He's against the master. Ernie Ladd. You know, the fans love that, man. Beautiful hip lock. When, when Ernie Ladd hit like a year and then a body slam. Body slam in there by the big guy, Ernie Ladd. You know, I can recall watching Ernie a few years ago, and boy, watching him on this edition of International Championship Wrestling, he has really come a long way. He is, he is a great professional wrestler today. He knows his holes, he knows his moves, he uses his size and strength to his advantage, and he is he's a great performer. He's an exciting wrestler. Don't forget, wrestling fans, coming up in our main event, the Mongols, the International Wrestling Association Tag Team Champion. They'll take on the Polish strongman, the mighty Igor, and Big Jim Wilson, another former football star. Did you see that? Boy, I'm telling you. Ernie's got the moves. 
Beautiful, beautiful hip lock. Another one. Like I told you before, I'd sure hate to be hip locked by Ernie Ladd. You're six foot up in the air, and then you slide on down. Into the turnbuckle. It's Ernie Ladd's first professional match at the Olympics in Los Angeles. Another hip toss in there by Ernie. Looks like a beautiful arm drag in there by, uh, by Ernie Ladd. Get a head scissor on it. Bobby Garcia has had his hands full tonight. You know, Ernie, uh, go ahead, sir. I was just going to say that absolutely this IWA wrestling is the most exciting thing that happens to wrestling in... That's it. Well, it's been a long time. It's been a long time coming. I believe the world of professional wrestling needed something like the International Wrestling Association. And it's here. International class. Every city in the world. Good pass in there by Ernie Ladd. Garcia felt that one. Referee Smith warning Ladd. Good referee at Smith. Now Garcia coming back. A couple of smashes in there. Right hand across the jaw. Another right hand. He took, it, he took advantage of an Ernie arm with another the turnbuckle. The big foot. Now I gotta tell you something. That foot is size 16 double double wide. And it weighs about 40 pounds. Another whip. Another foot got that one. Brett. There's a body splash. That's it. That's it. Big guy coming through with another big victory. Now they get the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the fall in the match, the big cat, Ernie Ladd. Ernie Ladd, the big guy. Let's pick up the action once again, Big Tech. That whip into the so look at that roll. foot. There it is. Right under the jaw. Look at his head for that. Like he caught him in the Adam's apple with that big foot. Now right. Ernie's going with a big body splash. Look at that. 307 pounds. Charlie Smith right on top of the scene with a three count. And there's your winner, wrestling fan. The big guy, Ernie Ladd. We'll be back with more international championship wrestling right after we take this time out. Championship Wrestling, presenting all of the great superstars of the world of professional wrestling. And boy, we've got some great tag teams for you. And two guys, two gentlemen that come to us that have really created a lot of excitement. No matter where they go, or the competition is team, and the excitement is there. Louis Martinez and Vittorio Argentina Apollo. No matter where you two gentlemen wrestle, I'll tell you, there's always excitement that follows. There's one thing I can say. I have one of the greatest partners I can never wish in my life. If this man to speak for himself in the ring anytime, please, Larry, do it. Yes. Gracias, amigo. Mm -hmm. Arriba. That's the victory cry. I want all you people to hear this word. Arriba. And that's all I have to hear in the ring, and my friend and I will do the rest. All you've got to do is show us that you're behind us, and let us give you all the action, action, and more action. Y quiero saludarle a todos mis paisanos, a todos latinos. Seguro, verdad? You know, the one thing that really has impressed me, wrestling fans, is the way these two gentlemen work together. They're like precision timing, like a machine working in that ring. And boy, when you talk about excitement on international championship wrestling, whenever the name of Vittorio Argentina Apollo and Louis Martinez are around, you're going to see it. Gentlemen, I know that there's one thing on your mind, and that's winning that coveted belt. We all the matches with possibly can. I'm right with it 100%. Remember what I said. Arriba is the victory cry. Good luck, gentlemen, in the days and weeks to come. Let's get back to more of the exciting action at ring right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this will be our feature event of the evening. One fall with a 30-minute time limit. Introducing, first of all, team number one. Hailing from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in tonight at 233 pounds, Jim Wilson. His tag team partner tonight, ladies and gentlemen, from Poland, weighing in at 200. And 76 pounds, the mighty Igor. There's 
somebody Igor wrestling fan. <laughs> oh, goodness. He's really something, isn't he, Tex? Igor walking out before entering the ring with his delicious kibasi. Look at that, offering the kibasi to all the great fans in attendance here on International Championship Wrestling. I'll tell you what, he gets the best kibasi. I don't know where he gets it. He gets it out of Chicago, and it's got to be the greatest Napoleon. I'll Kibachi tell you, Igor. here's a man that really enjoys, he really loves his work, the mighty Igor. He's a super wrestler, a terrific guy. He's 576 pounds from Croatia. The International Wrestling Association Tag Team Champion, Bolo and Gito, the Mongols. Accompanied by their manager tonight, George Cannon. This is the main event. This is a match that I know a number of you wrestling fans have been waiting for. The International Wrestling Tag Team Champion, the Mongols, Gito and Bolo Mongo, accompanied by their manager, the crybaby of the world of professional wrestling, George Cannon. I know that Mr. Cannon will not enjoy or like my calling him a crybaby, but this is exactly the way I feel about the man. He's always moaning and crying about something. He has himself a couple of champions. He's got, right now, Cannon has got three or four of the world's most promising wrestlers, including the tag team champions. Look at Igor with the kibachi in hand. There's his manager, Ivan, Kal Ivan Kalmakov. So you've got two of the great managers of the world of professional wrestling in this bout. Kalmakov with Igor and Wilson. That's Big Jim Wilson, former football star with the Atlanta Falcons. He also played with the San Francisco 49ers and the Los Angeles Rams for a brief period of time. Now he's a wrestling rookie, and he's coming on strong. You know, I don't know if you mentioned, you mentioned it before, but the big Mongol. Look, look at, at that. Look at Igor. <laughs> look at Igor. Look at Igor forcing referee Charlie Smith to eat the kibasi. <laughs> well, uh -oh. uh -oh. He's going it. after Cannon. Watch out, Cannon. Don't let Igor get you. Boy, I tell you what, that Charlie Smith must not like kibasi. He's sure got hot. Well, it's not so much that Charlie dislikes Kabasi Tex. Uh, Igor's been chomping away on it pretty good. <laughs> oh, what a what a guy, I'll tell you. He loves everybody, you know, and i tell you what, I imagine he was going to go over and offer the Mongo some. Look at the size of that big Mongo. Wait till Igor takes off the jacket, boy. You want to see a body. <laughs> there he goes. Look at the arms, the tremendous chest on the mighty Igor, who feel that Many feel that this is the world's strongest man, the mighty Igor. There's no question about it. Some of the people think he does, no one else in the world can do. Igor is not the only strong man in the ring, however. He has a chain, right, but he won't, Igor will not use that chain. Oh, no, that's knowing Igor as well as I do, he won't use the chain. Look at the size of that, that Bolo Mongo. Six foot three, six foot four, has to weigh close to 300 pounds. Look at the tremendous belt that check that uh, the Mongols, the uh, International Wrestling Tag Team Champions, uh, have in their possession right now. The most coveted belts in the wrestling world today. All right, it'll be Gito, the older and stronger of, uh, of the two Mongols, against Jim Wilson. Shoulder smash in there by Wilson. Beautiful shoulder smash. Hard right hand in there by Gito Mongol. Boy, they work well with the boots, don't they? You better believe it. They're vicious, vicious wrestlers in perfect condition. Double teaming. There go the Mongols. Big Jim Wilson, that, that's Bolo Mongol. Look at the size of it. Beautiful boots in there. that Jim Wilson never took a smash like that in pro football. You better believe it. Charlie Smith is trying to stop him. There should be no double up like that. That's strictly illegal. Smith interceding the mighty Igor. Now, Igor does not approve of what's going on in that ring. Smith is not aware that they're doubling up on Wilson. It's a very difficult thing to be a referee. Double teaming by 
Yeah. International Wrestling Champion Tag Team. Turn it around, champion. They've got Wilson in trouble. The Mongols, Tito and Bolo Mongo. Trying to annihilate Big Jim Wilson. I tell you what, Wilson's been a professional athlete for years. He can take punishment. Bolo Mongo right now. Using the ring rope. Look at the tremendous strength on this guy. Our international championship wrestling cameras picking up all the action for you. Into the turnbuckle. Heart smash, Tex. You know, I'm just sitting here amazed. Jim Wilson must have been a fantastic football player because he's taking punishment now that I haven't seen for a long time. He's got to get over to Igor. by Jim Wilson. There's a tag, and here comes the mighty Igor, the Polish strongman. This is what the fans have been waiting for. Headbutt in there by Igor. And a strut. He calls that the Polish strut. The fans love it. They love it. Oh, they do. I'll tell you. Big Bolo's coming in. Tag out. the fingers locked. He goes, got the advantage. That's the front. That's it. That's it. Beautiful backdrop. Fans love it, don't they? They're coming on good. Tito Mongo protesting the referee Charlie Smith, but nothing doing as Igor continues. Look at that. Some of pack in there. You know, the ring went about two, three feet back that time. Boy, he whipped him into the turnbuckle that time, didn't he? Look at Igor. Look at Igor. He's got his little band playing with his opponent. <laughs> and there it is. The wrestling fans applauding as the mighty Igor. Isn't that beautiful? Applaud for his band. He told. Tech. He caught Igor, caught him low, that's it, caught him low with a boot, he took it off though, he took it off, I'll tell you the Mongols were really having a, a rough way to go with the, with the Polish strong man, the mighty Igor, if you watch Cannon in the background there, he's having a fit, his, his boys are in trouble for the first time in months, look at Igor, was it a butterfly? The <laughs> cat is looking up there. I mean, it's blue. Fans love it. They love it. The mighty Igor is only pushing a little dog on a mongo. He does the chief side. The champions are being beaten, wrestling fans. There's Cannon. Now watch Cannon. This is where he's most dangerous. Look at Igor. now. They're going to double team Igor. There's Ivan. Ivan. Ivan's in there. This is he it. wants Igor back in the ring. He wants him back into the ring. He's instructing Igor not to get carried away with the spot. The whole boat is shaking. Ivan directing Igor back to a neutral corner and into the ring. And there comes Guido Mongol in there right now with a couple of knee lifts. That's Polo. Polo Mongo. Is he a fall Stopped in there by the mighty Igor. There's a headbutt. That Igor has got to have a hard one. There's a tag. He's turning him over to Big Jim Wilson. Big Jim Wilson coming in there right now. Elbow smash. Hard boot to the midsection by Bolo. Now what's Guido? Double teaming. Boot to the head pick. Oh, 
effective. Ball on going there right now. It's been moved. The cat has given his instruction. Now he's got the bear hug. Look at the tremendous bear hug. Look at Pico Mongo off the top rope. Oh, a tremendous smack with the big black Croatian boot. Another two and oh, Gore, but I believe it's too late. I think they've got Wilson. They've got him now, Big Tech. This man is hurt. Referee has called for the bell. Let's go up to the ring. This is Jack Reynolds along with Tex McKenzie. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this edition of International Championship Wrestling. Adios, amigos. Wrestling, featuring the superstars of professional wrestling.